and we'll get through it like this. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of I Can't Make a Living Through My Hobbies. It's all happening this week, moving house, I've got the keys ready to go, my mother-in-law's here. But I start off this week having a massage on my shoulder. So I had, I had terrible pain in my left shoulder a few months ago, about a year ago actually, and it's coming back slowly. So I thought I'd check it out before things got worse, but uh, it's going to be rough and we'll see how it goes, so I'll let you know. So... We did it. It was quite intense, um, and you can't see me. Yeah, so it was quite intense, especially when she does sort of the uh, the neck area. But well, today, well after that, now I've got to go to Cardiff and pick up a desk for the new house. So yeah, it's all official. We're moving in, grabbing stuff, and it's official. We're moving stuff into the new house. Oh gosh, now I'm out of breath. Ooh. And so the moving stuff continues. I can cart all that over to the house, unload it, come back. And the aches and the pains in the back has already started. Woo! So it is currently 3 a.m. Monday morning and I have to pick up my mum from the bus station because she's coming back from Greece and then go straight to work. Yay. Oh, the joys. But I think I'm going to make the most of it and perhaps do some filming in the dark while I can. So let's see how this goes. I think it's summer, it's not really that cold at uh, 10 past 3 in the morning, but um, uh, it's just doing this on top of moving house and then going and you're going to work moving house, so I'm sure I will pay for this later. <laughs> so I picked them up, took them home successfully, and now I've just stopped at a filming location. The same filming location I did Wish, which uh, please check it out on my channel if you haven't seen it yet. So yeah, it's kind of uh, funny and strange being at this exact location filming again. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping not to be here too long, but just get a couple of shots. Beautiful morning, though, I must say. Yeah, very peaceful here this morning. Filming done. So I got a nice good amount of makeup on my head there, if you can see it, <laughs> fake blood, but it is time to go to work now. I've just arrived in work after a wonderful experience of filming, look at that, all those cuts there and one of those is from a stingy net or so, yeah I'm feeling that, I cannot wait to wash my face and get all this blood off, fake blood, but uh, yeah that was a lot of fun, hopefully there's a lot of usable shots there, we've got a good 20 minutes worth, I think, so uh, there's going to be something good in there. So much better. Well, sitting here drinking my morning coffee, and actually, that, a lot of that footage uh, came out really well, actually. Um, yeah, considering at night and play in a little bit with the color I think uh, there could be some cool effective creepy shots there but uh, yeah so basically this week it's quite a full-on week I've got to work mornings Monday Tuesday Wednesday only four hours on Wednesday but then you know you consider moving house on top of all that and uh, all the other stuff um, getting ready to go on a little holiday then next week it's um, gonna be quite a challenging week I suppose a little bit of an emotional week because you know we're saying goodbye to our old place and um, saying hello to this new place. A bit of sweet, I suppose, but uh, it's a miracle. I'm not. Don't feel that tired this morning, considering um, I was up at three, driving and filming. I, maybe I'm actually on a buzz. <laughs> For thanks to 
good old coffee. So I've just started in work. Well, normally I start at 5.30, but there's actually a lot of dishes, a lot of sort of rubbish piled up as soon as I got in. So, um, yeah, 10 past 5, I'm already making a start. We have workmen here in a truck. So this is what I call fun. I've got the movers men arriving. I've also got the talk talk man putting the internet in. And it continues. It's been challenging. We've been doing a good six hours of work and uh, even then the house is not completely uh, <laughs> empty. But um, yeah, moving can be quite a difficult thing. I suppose I've had the physical... Um, load of you know the lifting but i suppose that's just recently i'm sort of feeling the emotional load of you know having to say goodbye to this place it's been so perfect for us and so great for us i just can't believe five years of um just gone just like that but yeah we've been here for five years oh it's, it's a weird feeling just sort of everything empty and deserted I have memories of five years ago when Naomi and I um, were eating KFC when we first moved in here. No sofas, we had to sit on the floor, no telly. And now I'm sitting on the floor five years later moving out. So, yeah, once I've got past the initial physical stuff, lifting stuff, it was a really hard day yesterday. But today, everyone's, you know, very a lot more relaxed than we were yesterday. But certainly the emotional weight uh, is kicking in today. I sort of can feel a big difference in that regard. I mean, it's hard, you know, you got to let something go for five years. So it's been very important, special. It had its challenges, of course, but, uh, yeah. It helped us out a lot, this place. I mean, it's um, going to be a new adjustment, new everything, really. Uh, so we should be fully, most of the big stuff now is in the house. Um, got deep cleaners coming in two days time. So we have two days to really sort of finalize and finish everything. But uh, we are getting there slowly. <laughs> so friends, we're pretty much there. And I cannot tell you how much a cold shower, with no shower curtain yet, how much a cold shower Sounds so great right now. We're gonna rest here for tonight. 